Welcome to the Game Audio Resource WiseCube 2019 Audio Implementation Guide Series. In this guide, we prepare Wise with a few quick properties, generic test content, and add the basic global hierarchy structure. In this step, we weigh testing data content as you add new content areas to your project. Also, as it will be labeled as test, it can easily be deleted at the end of the project. Grab the free test audio assets from the link at the start of this chapter's guide. In WISE Project Explorer, select the Audio tab. Under the default work unit, right-click, then select New Child, then Virtual Folder. Name the new folder, placeholder underscore test. Now drag the test underscore vocal underscore zero one audio asset into the new placeholder underscore test folder. In the audio file importer window, we need to give a path to where to implement the asset to. Under the audio file destination, select the option to define the path. A browser window will pop up. Create a new folder under Cube, Wise Project, Originals, SFX, called Test. Double click the new test folder, then click on the Select Folder, which closes the browser window. Now click on Import. Right click the placeholder underscore test folder, then select New Child, then Random Container. Rename the random container Test underscore Footstep. Then drag the two footstep assets into this container. Follow the same process listed in point five of where to place the assets. Select each of the new audio assets in the actor mixer hierarchy, then press play. Test. Test. You should now hear the audio of the asset. Finally, we need to assign the footstep assets to play in game. In the Project Explorer Events tab, find the event foot underscore player. Click on it to bring up the properties. Click on the Project Explorer Audio tab, locate the footstep underscore test random container, then drag the container onto the events editor target properties. In the Project Explorer Events tab, find the event called jump, then select it. Back in the actor mixer hierarchy, placeholder underscore test folder, Drag the test underscore vocal underscore zero one asset onto the play property. Generate the sound banks. Testing game that when the player moves, the test footstep assets are heard and triggered. Test. Test. In chapter four, we created a placeholder silent asset. We should now also move it into our new test area. Locate the placeholder underscore silence underscore one underscore shot asset under the actor mixer hierarchy. Simply select and drag it into the new placeholder underscore test folder. Generate the sound banks. Save your wise project updates. There is one important event, map loaded, that has a huge impact on the initial implementation. As we are starting a fresh project, we need to assign properties to it to stop a lot of bugs as we implement the project. Change back to the designer layout. In the Project Explorer Events tab, Unused folder, find the sound event map underscore loaded. In the events editor, we need to change the type play event to a type stop all. Under the type column, click on the play property, then from the list, select stop, then stop all. Change the scope column to say global. In the associated values, we need to add a fade out time. Add a default 0.5 second value. Next, we add new properties to inform the game the player is alive. Right click the list, then select new action, states, then set states. In this new entry, select the property in the target column. Right click, then select set target, default work unit, player life, then alive. Next, we add a property for the quad. Right click the list, then select new action, states, then set states. In this new entry, select the property in the target column. Right click, then select set target, default work unit, player has quad, then no. Generate the sound banks and save your wise project updates. Sadly, due to the limited amount of coded content in the project, if we use multiple sound banks, data and asset content will be packed into multiple different sound banks. This will result in false positive errors in the integrity report as the project progresses. These errors can be filtered out of the integrity report, but for simplicity, we will focus on one sound bank for the entire project. In the WISE toolbar, select Layouts. 
then sound banks or press F7. In the sound bank manager, under default work unit, select main. In the max size column, change the value to infinite by typing zero in the box. Set the max value for the DCP underscore the underscore core and the music sound bank to one. Now we need to associate all content in the DCP underscore the underscore core and the music sound bank in the main sound bank. Select the DCP underscore the underscore core in the sound bank manager. Then click on the add tab in the sound bank editor. Select all content in the hierarchy inclusion list and drag it into the main sound bank. Select music in the sound bank manager, then click on the add tab in the sound bank editor. Select all content in the hierarchy inclusion list and drag it into the main sound bank. Generate the sound banks and save your WISE project updates. In this step, we'll set up the global WISE project to have a basic hierarchy structure for all content areas. Return to the design layout or press F5. In the Project Explorer audio tab, Act to Mixer Hierarchy default work unit, we will add a new WISE work unit for each main content area. Right click the default work unit, then select new child, then work unit. Name the new work unit, armor. Then add a new WISE work unit for each of the main content areas. Body, element, environments, footstep, magic, UI, vocals, and weapon. Under the Act to Mixer Hierarchy folder, add a new WISE work unit called advisor. Next, we update the Master Mixer Hierarchy. Navigate to the Master Mixer Hierarchy Default Work Unit, Master Audio Bus, SFX Audio Bus. Right click the SFX Audio Bus, then select New Child Audio Bus. Name it Armor. Now add a new Audio Bus in the same location for each of the following content areas Body, Element, Environment, Footstep, Magic, UI, Vocal, and Weapon. Right click the Master Audio Bus, then select New Child Audio Bus. Name it VO. Now we are at Consistent Event Hierarchy. Change to the Project Explorer Events tab. Under Events Default Work Unit, add a new work unit for the following main content areas. Body, Element, Environment, Footsteps, Magic, UI, Vocal and Weapon. Under the Events Master folder, add a new WISE work unit called Advisor. Finally, we are at Consistent Hierarchy for Attenuations. In the Project Explorer Share Sets tab, open the Attenuations folder. Delete the main attenuation under the default work unit. Under Attenuations My Cube, add a new WISE work unit for Armor, Body, Element, Footstep, Magic, Vocal, and Weapon. Delete the original object attenuation. Right click My Cube, then select New Child Virtual Folder. Call it placeholder underscore test. Right click the new folder, then select new child, then attenuation. Call it placeholder underscore test underscore 3D. Double click the attenuation to open the properties. In the curves list, select the output bus. Then in the max distance box, add the value to 50. Then in the main graph, double click the red line to add a point marker. Drag this marker to the following coordinates. Output bus volume 0, 0.0 and distance 10. Right click the red line after the point marker, then select a logarithmic base 3 curve. Generate the sound banks and save your WISE project updates. Introduced in WISE version 2018.1 is a new feature which allows us to color code almost any type of hierarchy object, e.g., containers, folders, WISE work units, etc. Coloring hierarchy structure helps quick navigation, testing, and helps maintain a solid hierarchy structure. Return to the designer layout. In the audio tab, act to mix a hierarchy. Right click the armor work unit, then select set color. Select the color yellow. Continue to add colors to the major wise work units in the act to mix a hierarchy using the following color association. Armor yellow, body light blue, Element light green, environment green, footstep blue, magic purple, UI red, vocal pink, and weapons orange. Then add the same color coding to the Master Mixer default work unit, Master Audio Bus SFX Children. Next, add the same coloring association to the new Events Wise work unit we added in step 5. 
Lastly, add the same colouring association to the attenuations wise work units that we added in step 5. Double check all content areas have the same colour association. Generate the sound banks and save your WISE project updates. We're now ready to start implementing new content to the game.